Hello and welcome back to the Time Sticking YouTube channel. My name is Jake as per usual and today I get to talk about the history of the Watch Valley in Switzerland. So make sure to stick with me through this intro because I'll be telling you the story of how Swiss watchmaking was born. Swiss watchmaking spent centuries evolving into the global juggernaut it is today. After John Calvin banned jewelry making in the 16th century in Switzerland, an effort to curb perceived idolatry, a shift toward watchmaking took hold in the country. By 1601, the first Swiss watchmaking guild took form in Geneva. The 16th and 19th centuries would see continued growth in the Swiss watchmaking industry. During this time, Switzerland truly cultivated a reputation of timeless quality based on expert engineering. Switzerland, being a neutral country during World Wars I and II, meant continued horological business through the early 20th century. After the advent of industrialized watchmaking in the 19th century and stable business throughout the first half of the 20th, Switzerland solidified its reputation as the veritable epicenter of modern watchmaking. Tied to this reputation is Switzerland's geographical region, known as the Jura Arc. Virtually all of Switzerland's historical milestones can be attributed to what is known as the Watch Valley. But what exactly is this Watch Valley? Well, it's a section of the country along its western border. It spans the entire Swiss Jura Arc, which travels north to south from Basel all the way down to Geneva. It borders France and is often referred to as the Franco-Swiss Jura Arc as a result. This shared border has led to most Swiss watchmakers adopting French names, though the country is multilingual. Geography of the region includes a border with both the Rhine and Rhone rivers, and the highest peak of the Jura is located near Geneva, in the south. Because of its riverside locals and mountain-hugging cities and towns, the region was already ripe for industrial growth. Watchmaking has flourished there for over 400 years in no small part due to this geographical reality. There are two locations along the Jura Arc where a majority of the Swiss watch companies take up residence. Geneva in the south and La Chaux de Fonds located around the middle of the region. Some of Geneva's most well-known residents include Rolex, Patek Philippe, and Piaget, among other heavy hitters. In La Jean de Fonds, tenured brands include Breitling, Cartier, and Tag Heuer, just to name a few. While these two locals tend to get a lot of buzz, every nook of the Jura Arc from Basel, home of the famed Basel World Convention, to Geneva has Swiss watchmaking gems tucked into it. And as an honorable mention, just north of the Jura, IWC takes up residence in Schaffhausen, at the Swiss border near Germany. Other Watch Valley brands include Tissot, Schaffard, Zenith, Oris, Omega, Longines, Ulysses Narda, Corem, Blancpain, Vacheron Constantin, Hublot, and more. Each of these companies is built into the centuries-long history of Swiss watchmaking in the Jura Arc Watch Valley. While today, most of these companies are owned under the umbrella of larger parent companies, they each have a history all their own. What's more, each of those stories ties together a rich history of Swiss watch engineering, much like the Jura Arc ties each brand together geographically. Without a little bit of push from John Calvin in the 1500s, we might be calling the Watch Valley the Jewelry Valley. Thankfully, tradesmen in the region took up the horological mantle centuries ago. From there, a series of peaks and valleys gave us the Swiss watch industry we all love and know today. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, make sure to give it a like, and if you'd like to see more content from us, you can subscribe right here. And as always, if you need any help repairing your watch, the link to our website is right here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.